Stream Boost makes your home network faster, smarter, and easier to use. It's a software, pa pro software package that runs on our 802.11ac router platform that uh, instantly identifies all the applications that are running on your network and then sets a priority for each application. It does this because we it, it knows how to detect what application is running and then uh, assigns the priority because it knows what sort of bandwidth your applications need. So for example, we know that a YouTube 320 resolution uh, stream requires about 1.2 megabits per second for effective download. So we make sure that if we detect a stream like that, that we reserve 1.2 megabits on your connection for that uh, efficient download and actual viewing. We prioritize applications based on how the users perceive them. So real-time applications like games or uh, Skype chats or other real-time live video chats are prioritized at one because you can understand if there's actually a gap in your game, right? If there's lag in your game or anything like that. We prioritize streaming video like YouTube or uh, Netflix or Hulu at priority two. What that does is it allows the buffer to fill to actually give you a satisfactory uh, viewing experience and to make sure that you don't have any lag, that little donut that uh, revolves around when you're, uh, when you're lagging around on video. Regular web traffic is priority three, and we reserve priority four for intense downloads or uh, file downloads, BitTorrent, things like that email, other traffic, unknown traffic. So our demonstration here has a small um, has a small home network set up, and what we have are two laptops, and actually we're driving somebody else's demo over there as well, but we have two laptops here, one of which is actually doing uh, three simultaneous downloads on iTunes, as well as streaming YouTube in 480p resolution. This laptop over here is connected to an online game. It's in spectator mode, so it's playing itself. And this over here actually shows the status of our network. This is our uh, revolutionary interface, because what this does is it actually improves the interface for home routers. You wouldn't actually see an active, an interactive interface like this on any existing home router. What this does is it shows a full map of my network, all the different devices, including the iPhones that are connected to it, the laptops. And if I click on the router, I can actually see the status of the whole network when it, as far as it comes to bandwidth and things like that. Now what we can see is that this Alienware right here, this system right here, is using, let's see, 9.1 megabits per second of my total available bandwidth. It's also got a little bit upstream. While another system, the gaming system, is just playing a game, so it's only using about 24K. You can see from this graph is that I'm using all the available bandwidth on the on the connection. I'm essentially choking the connection with those iTunes downloads that I showed you earlier. But if we look over here again, we we see that we've got these iTunes downloads going, but that our ping for the game is still only about 40 milliseconds. That our videos are actually loading on time and without uh, without jerking or pausing or stopping or anything like that. You can't do this on a regular network. If you were to institute three major file downloads like that on a regular home network, you would not be able to play the game with 40 millisecond ping. You would not be able to get smooth streaming video while watching YouTube. Um, and then looking at our interface here, we can see the applications that are running on each device on the network. So I can click on this Alienware in my network and I can see that we've got some general traffic. We can see that I've got uh, iTunes downloading and we can see that I'm running YouTube at 480p resolution. Now what I can also do is actually go to a different resolution on the YouTube stream. I went ahead and selected 720p right there. As we can see over here on the uh, network stream, we identified that as YouTube 720. It, instantaneous recognition allows us to manage the streams much faster and allows uh, better performance throughout the whole system, throughout the whole network. The interface also shows us, the, as we see here, the uh, total bandwidth being used by that device when we click on that device. And when we deselect that device, it's the total bandwidth being used by the network. Additionally, um, 
let's select another uh, Which audio express? another device here. Yeah. This Alienware notebook is running, uh, has disconnected our game, so it's running Steam and it's got some general traffic. So when we, uh, we click on the uh, on uh, a variety of different uh, uh, statistics here. So we can see the priorities, which device has the most highest priority on the network. That Alienware M17X has uh, priority one. We can see the amount of uptime that has been enjoyed by the network. So we can see that we've been uh, say almost two hours of BitTorrent, almost two hours of Team Fortress 2, uh, you can see an hour of V2360. Um, we can see the total bytes that have gone through the network. So we can see that a lot of them have gone to Steam, which is a gaming service, and a lot of them have gone to iTunes through the downloads. And we can see the status of all the events. This is since we plugged in the router uh, this evening. And we can see that all these different activities, when they started, when they stopped, or when they restarted, and what their status is. So we can see here that lately we've been watching a lot of very short YouTube 480p resolution movies. We can see that we've been doing iTunes downloads almost all evening, and that they've all been in uh, the best quality. In other words, nothing has stopped, nothing has stuttered, nothing has restarted, or anything like that. So that's Streamboost. Smarter, faster, easier to use home networks.